Okay, time for a quick update on the Planet Junior walk behind cultivating tractor. I'm trying to set it up with better than just mock up. So instead of making a proper bracket for the motor, and it's gonna have some slide adjusters. The first stage from motor output to the jack shaft here, I'm switching to chain because it'll make the whole thing smaller. Uh, previously it was a, a belt with a small pulley and quite a large pulley, maybe like four inches here and 10 or so there. And by switching to chain, I can make it a lot more compact. And this is just draped there for demonstration purposes presently. Pretty soon I will, uh, I think it's just about ready to get trimmed and uh, then I gotta make a chain guard. And then the jack shaft runs over to the original um, second stage, which is uh, one size bigger chain. This one here is number 40, the other one is 50. I don't really know roller chain sizes. Um, but uh, so yeah, that's the plan. And looks to me like the motor is a good fit. I'm gonna have to um, make some kind of cover for this end of the motor just to keep the tire from throwing dirt and mud up onto it. So I think I'll probably end up boxing it in with a little bit of uh, clearance for air. It's cooling air is sucked in through here, pulled through the armature, and then expelled across the brushes here. Kept the original uh, Planet Junior, the chain guard on the second stage, and the little toolbox up top. And I'm gonna try to not, I don't wanna cut the front off it if I can avoid it. So I think I'm, this is gonna be as far back as the motor can go. And then I'll probably, let's see, here's the motor controller. I'm thinking I'll probably tuck this in here. Not a bad fit. And that way there are a couple of uh, little LEDs on the controller here and the operator will be able to see them. And it keeps the wire runs from the controller to the motor as short as possible because that's where that's where the current is highest and then it leaves a shelf up front and probably so currently i'm leaning towards building the battery in uh, this plastic ammo toolkit toolbox kind of thing and i think it'll look okay if the motor is boxed in um, I would kind of like to have a couple options for the uh, for the battery. So maybe there will be like, you can set it there. If you've got heavy tools, if you've got lighter tools, maybe you'll just be able to set it up on top of the motor or some other orientation in order to allow moving the battery around um, in order to adjust the, the balance. But... So far, so good. Drive line is pretty well done, and uh, then it's controls and wiring and uh, building a battery. All right, thanks.